Hello everyone, Tripster here, and today we're back with another Starfield video. This is going to be another min-maxing video. Uh, today we're looking at the reactors. Before we jump to the spreadsheets, I would like to show one very helpful tip just because the reactors video is going to be very short. You ever built a base and you just cannot get everything lined up properly? Like you can see, I can get it this way and it just I'm clicking as fast as I can and it's just not perfect. If you press escape and you go to settings, you go to controls, you're looking at outpost item rotation speed. You can go ahead and lower that all the way to one. And now if you try to build, look how slowly that's turning. So now you can actually get everything as perfectly as you want it there we go cool so that's my helpful tip for today let's jump to the spreadsheets here is the reactor spreadsheet that i have made reactors are really straightforward uh, the most important stat is how much power it generates so currently the limit is 40 hopefully we'll get more uh, reactors in the future the next most important stat is the class Starfield is designed where the reactor determines the maximum class of modules you can equip. So if you have a B-class reactor, you cannot equip C-class modules. So having a 39 power reactor doesn't do you that much good if you cannot equip uh, C-class weapons or jump drive or anything like that. So the repair rate here determines uh, how fast your ship repairs. You can see they're all pretty balanced, so that's not that big of a importance there. After that, the unlock level, that's one of the most important stats because this determines when you can equip this reactor, when you can buy it. So having a level 60 reactor is great, but you need 60 levels of your character to buy it. So here I have a custom column that I have designed. What this uh, column does, it's a simple uh, calculation of the max power a reactor has divided by uh, the level it unlocks. So uh, what you're looking for here is uh, something that stands out. So here we have 2.3. Here we go. So this is one of the higher end reactors, 28 power, and uh, it unlocks a level 12, which is very nice because you can use this reactor very early on. It's a very high power reactor for a very low level uh, character. So that's uh, basically you're looking at anomalies here. If you sort the spreadsheet by this column here, you can see some of these uh, reactors really stand out because you can get the higher power, you can get the high power reactors at a very early level. So this is it. Uh, reactors are pretty straightforward. In the next video, we will be looking over uh, the home modules. Depending on which modules you use, you can make a very strong and light ship that is very mobile, or you can make a very heavy and weak ship. So. We will be looking over which home modules are best to use and which ones to avoid. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video. I appreciate all the support I've been receiving in the Starfield videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.